Hello, artist. Today we've got a fun picture that we're gonna work on. It's a cute little frog, and he even has some flies hanging around. Maybe he'll get to get a little bite of one of them. We're gonna use a lot of shapes in this project, and particularly a lot of ovals. Do you know what an oval is? It's a shape like this. It's not a circle. It's kind of stretched out. And we're going to use many ovals in this project. So what you're going to need is a paper, a pencil, and you might want to have something dark to make your lines, like a Sharpie or a black crayon or a black pencil. You don't have to do that, but I like to do it to make the lines show really dark. And then I'm going to put my color on with watercolor. So if you have some, you might want to do that. But if you don't, that's just fine. Okay, I'm going to start over here and I'm going to start with an oval that goes, here's the middle of the paper, it goes just above the middle and I'm going to draw with my finger to get used to my oval. I'm going to go right in there. And here I go. I'm going to put my oval Can you do that? Okay, now my next ovals are going to do that we're going to do are the eyes. And we're going to put one oval here and one oval here. So they'll be the same size and both be tall and skinny instead of coming across. Okay, now in the middle of the eyes here, we have a line that we need to erase. I'm gonna erase that line. There. And next we're gonna do like half of an oval to go up and around each of those eyes. And we're gonna erase these lines too. Okay, now you can keep going in pencil, but I wanna work in Sharpie so that you can see what I'm doing really well. Are you getting used to drawing ovals now? Now inside of our eyes, we're not going to do an oval. We're going to do a circle. Now you can make the circle be on the side or at the bottom or whatever you want. And since I already have a Sharpie, I'm going to just go ahead and fill it in, but you could fill it in with black watercolor or black pencil or black crayon. So we have one more thing to do on the head. What do you think it is? Yeah, right, a nice big smile. I'm gonna do kind of a curved line and then the cheeks. And there we go, we're already done with the head of our frog. So now we're gonna do our body, which is most of an oval. It's gonna come this way. I'm gonna draw it a little bit to practice. 
We're not going to do the very top because that's where the head is. So it's a bigger oval than this one. Like small, medium, big. We're going to come down, down here, and down here. I'm going to hop over where the legs go. Okay, can you see that's most of an oval? And then we're going to do the stomach. And that's most of an oval also. Now we're going to put the two front arms and, and fingers, or maybe they're called legs, I'm not sure. But we're going to do two lines there, two lines here, and then finger, 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 finger. And now we're going to do the back legs. They are super big because you know that froggies have to be able to jump so far. So they need super strong, big legs. So we're going to start over here, close to the head, but there's a little space. We're going to go up and around, so big. And then we're going to do some long toes. One, two, three, and go right up to the edge of the frog's body. Now we're going to do the same thing, but opposite direction over here. And those long toes, one, two, three, and join up to the body. And we have our whole frog body done. We have one more thing to put on though. Do you know what it is? It is spots. Now your spots can be oval or they can be circle. They can be little or they can be big. They can even be part of a circle or an oval. So take a little time to get your circles and ovals in, part or whole. We're going to put them on the legs and the sides of the body. How's your frog coming out? Are you proud of yourself for your hard work? I hope so. I'm proud of you. Now, do you know that frogs like to eat flies? So I'm gonna actually put a fly out to the side here that maybe he's peeking at. I'm just gonna do oval, little teeny oval, and then wings. I'm going to do one more over here. I'm going to fill in the body black. And then leave the wings. Okay, we're ready now for our color. And as I told you, I'm going to use watercolor. So let me get that right close by. And what color is a frog? Oh, green's a good one. 
I guess you could mix green and blue or green and yellow or green and brown. That would make a different shade of green. And then what color should we do our spots? Well, you can decide. I'm gonna use yellow, I think. But you could also use orange or brown or red. You can make that choice. So I'm gonna start with a medium brush. Gonna put it in the water. And I'm gonna get my green. And I wanna go around the eyes, around the eyes. Not on them. And I can go right over the mouth because the mouth is closed. I have to go back a lot of times to pick up more green. Between, oop, I have to be so careful. And, oh, now I'm going to do a little trick which you don't have to do, but you could do. I'm gonna start with my yellow first. I want to do my belly yellow, and I wanna do all my dots yellow. So I'm just gonna do the whole thing yellow first. All but the feet and the legs. And then I'm gonna do green on top. You don't have to do it that way. You could do that, go around the spots and then um, on the spots. I'm just thinking though, I think I want to do a shortcut. Okay, so now I'm going to do my green and I'm going to go on top of yellow. Get my, go around my spots because I want them to end up being yellow. A little bit tricky to get in between. In art, a lot of times you have to go a little bit slow so that you do your very best artwork. That's okay. Now what else do I need to paint green? Oh, I need to do this leg. Going around the yellow. Around the yellow. Now did you notice I forgot to put yellow on that side? Let me get my yellow there. And I gotta let that dry a little bit. So while it's drying, let's talk about the background. Now what I'm gonna do is put brown here for the ground and then blue up here for the sky. So that's a nice easy way to do it. Okay, let's see if the green will work good now. Yeah, that works. It's a little bit wet, but it's working just fine to me. Another way you could do it is if you did green all over and then put a dark color for your dots, like say it would be blue or purple or brown, then you wouldn't have to go around, around, around. Okay, I'm gonna change brushes. I'm gonna use my bigger brush. You might not have one, but in case you do, this is a handy place to have it. I'm gonna go across and then down, down, down. And I think it's gonna be faster actually if I go across. 
the pig area here. Peek in there between all those feet and legs. Okay, now I told you we were gonna do blue for the sky. I wanna get my brush nice and clean. And I'm gonna get my blue. Now you could do a different color. You could do any color you want. Okay, now I think the wings are see-through. So I'm gonna go over them. In fact, I'm gonna go over the whole fly like that. I think it looks fine to do that. Um, also, I think purple would look good or pink or a mixture. Mixture could look awesome. So if you do not have watercolors, then you can use crayons or colored pencils, whatever you think would be fun and exciting. So I hope you enjoyed doing your frog picture and that you made so many ovals. Bye-bye.